Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you guys the different drive modes and uh, how drive modes relates to the shifter, um, which one is the best for like roll racing, which one's the best for, um, you know, whatever you want to do for your Mustang. So I want to go over the different drive modes. Um, this is a base with the 101A package, so it does have the toggle switches. If you don't have the toggle switches, I'll show you guys how it works on that one too. But let's go ahead and hop inside here. This is my 2019 Mustang EcoBoost. Like I mentioned, is a base with the 101A package. So I do have the drive modes. So let's go ahead and start it up and get started here. So for the first part of the video, I'm gonna talk about the drive modes. Second part, I'm gonna talk about how this relates to the drive modes. And the third part of the video, I'm gonna talk about which one's the best for roll racing in different scenarios and stuff like that. So starting off with the drive modes. When you start up your car, it automatically defaults to the normal drive mode. So you can see there, I have the system status screen. Everything is in normal. If I had Magnaride, it would show a little uh, logo for suspension as well. Uh, the steering is in sport. I actually want to put that back in uh, normal. By the way, steering feel always defaults to whatever you had it in last. Or if you switch to a drive mode, then it'll go to whatever steering feel is associated with that drive mode. I hope that makes sense. So when you see the normal mode on the car, that means that the transmission and the throttle response is in normal. So that means that the throttle response will be easy to press. Um, it won't be super you know, aggressive, anything like that. Transmission will skip gears, it'll shift smooth, it'll shift the best for fuel economy, things like that. And then you can see there I have the exhaust mode. The exhaust is in normal with normal mode, obviously. And steering feel is in normal with normal mode. So now let's go ahead and go up to S here. So Sport Plus. So what Sport Plus does is it makes the exhaust go into Sport Plus. It makes the car go into Sport Plus. So what that means is that the throttle response is a lot more responsive. Um, the steering feel goes to Sport, as you can see there. There's only three steering feels. There's Comfort, Normal, and Sport. So in this mode, the transmission will be shifting really aggressively. It will be downshifting when you step on the brakes. And it will also be going through each individual gear instead of skipping gears. So you don't want to use this if you want to get good fuel economy. You want to use this if you want to drive fast. But it adjusts everything else on the car too as well. So let's go up to track mode here. So you can see immediately track mode does turn off traction control. You can see the car is in track. As far as I'm concerned, let me know if I'm wrong, but track mode, as far as like the way the car drives, is exactly the same as sport. It just makes the exhaust go into track mode and it turns off the traction control. If I'm incorrect, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. So sport mode with track exhaust and traction control off is the same as track mode. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Now let's go up to drag strip. So what drag strip does is it turns back on the traction control and it makes the transmission shift the best as far as straight line acceleration. This is where you'll see the car have like really lurchy shifts and stuff for the best straight line speed. It also puts the exhaust in track and the steering wheel in sport. Now let's go to snow wet mode. What this does, it's just like normal mode. It shifts like normal mode, everything like that. The only difference is that the throttle response is super lazy and hopes that it will um, help you in a slippery situation. It might do something with the trash control, I'm not sure, but it's supposed to help you for slippery conditions. Now let's go back into normal mode and I wanna talk about the transmission. So a common question people have is, what makes this S different than the drive mode sport? What makes it different? It's very simple to explain. I hope you guys can understand. So when you put in S, you can see there, see how everything else is normal. The only thing that's different is where the car was. That means that the transmission is aggressive and the throttle response is aggressive. That's the only thing going into S does from drive. Going into the S sport mode, as you can see here, drive mode, that makes it so that everything is in sport mode. And if you had Magnaride, it would do the suspension too. So that's the big difference. To recap, this only adjusts the transmission and the throttle response. The sport mode adjusts everything else associated with the car as well. So now let's talk about paddle shifters. So when you have it in drive and use the paddle shifters, it will downshift if you click the downshift, and it'll upshift if you click the upshift. But once you start driving, like after five seconds, then it'll go back into drive. If you have it in sport mode, 
that's the same as if it was in like like manual mode like some cars you'll see it'll say s slash m or m slash s that means that if you activate the paddle shifters now you're in manual mode so it, it won't upshift to second if i go to red line it'll just cut it out there um it'll lock in the gear it won't downshift or anything like that it'll lock in the gear so s with paddle shifters means manual mode now let's talk about the traction control so traction control is also very simple so you press it once that means that you can spin the tires in a straight line but it won't let you get sideways that's all that means so i just turned traction control back on now if you press it up and hold it and you wait about five seconds there it turns off advanced track so that's the crowd killer mode that's the mode where it'll let you slide the car around it'll let you do basically anything you want with no electronics involved i don't recommend doing that unless you're an experienced driver or you're on some huge open parking lot or something like that and you want to experiment with it so what i like to do is i like to turn out traction control like that so that i can spin the tires in a straight line but it won't let me lose control if that makes sense steering modes there's just three sport comfort normal it adjusts how stiff the steering wheel is that's how simple that is now let's talk about roll racing so if you want to roll race let's actually get driving for this one All right, guys, I had to set up the POV hat because uh, it was too hard to do it by myself. Or it was too hard to only have one hand. So I put the drive mode and drag strip or whichever mode you think works the best for you. Put the shifter in S so that you can lock the paddle shifters into a gear. Or I should say lock the car into a gear. So let's say you're doing a, a 40 roll, for example. You obviously want to know your car's RPM, all that stuff. So let's go down to the second like that. And then once you take off, you want to just slowly put the shifter in drive. So once you take off like this, just put it in drive. So now it's in the drive mode you want it to be. And you're able to manually select the gears and then put it in drive. It's as simple as that. If you had the base model, what you'd have to do is you have to do the same thing, put in S. But since you don't have drive modes, you would have to lock it in a gear, take off, put it in drive, and put it back in S. I think that's how you'd have to do it if you wanted to be shifting in S and not in drive, since there's no drive modes. I hope that made sense for you guys. I know that's kind of a lot of talking and stuff like that, but I really wanted to get this video out so people can understand how the drive modes and traction control and all that stuff works, how roll racing works, because there's a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. Never use paddle shifters when roll racing. Unless your car is like tuned and there's like a specific thing that you have to do, never use paddle shifters when roll racing. Let the car do the shifting. I hope that makes sense. The car is the fastest way to do the shifting. That's why you bought an automatic. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I've never asked for that. So go ahead and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.